Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're talking about feeling or hearing bass. So we have to realize that low frequency energy oscillates through our room like ocean waves, right? And they're huge. You know, they're 30, 40 foot high. Or I'm sorry, 30, 40 foot long. And they can be, you know, 10, 20 feet high. So they're huge waves of energy. That's why in our three sound fields within a room, floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, and front to rear, the different dimensions create different frequency and amplitude of problems because, you know, those pressure waves, they just, they just simply don't fit in the room. So how can our ears process 30, 40 foot long energy that's oscillating constantly, right? How can we do that? Our ear canal is an inch and a half long and maybe a half inch high with three really small bones inside. Now it's, it's part of the system. There's also another part that we have to consider and that's the part called bone conductance. So our skeletal system then kind of becomes our ears because it vibrates, right? In relationship to the pressure. I've even been sitting in my studio and watched my pant cuff move with low frequency pressure. And I'm sure you all have experienced something similar. So the bones react in sympathy to the oscillating waves of energy. And that's really important. So bone conductance is pretty interesting thing. And the skeletal system, our bones structure system is really good at attack and decay. That's why when we say, well, the base is mud and soup, um, th that means there's not a proper attack and decay rate in the room. Everything's kind of ugh, going together. We haven't taken enough energy out of these waves to get to the core of the wave, which is really where the resolution is, not the top and the bottom. So that's what we have to look at. So we have to remove all these lower frequency issues. We've got to, in order to improve, you know, the attack and decay rate in the room. So we, we must do that. We must pressure balance the room. We can't have any hot spots. Let's see. Can't have any hot spots in a room. Sometimes you have a room and you'll have a, a hot, you know, if we cycle the wave through the room, you might have a hot spot here and a hot spot there. And of course, they're always telling you to position out of that. Well, that works for some frequencies, but not all of them. It's an oscillating phenomenon. Can't play musical chairs with it, okay? You, you fix it and quit working around it. So this is why I designed the CAW. Frame the room out with two by 12s. We need that 12 inches of depth. You notice 12 inches is the carbon panel depth. 16 inches is the or the ACDA series depth. Well, there's reasons for that depth because that determines the lowest frequency the unit works at. So with a two by 12 uh, wood frame, stud wood frame, we've got 11 inches to work with inside. We get down into 30 cycles with that. And you know you can see in the video here how it's running. Those are the carbon filters that go between the studs. Now, the beauty of the carbon filter, the depth of the wall, two by 12 studs gets us down to 30 but the carbon filter controls how much we get at 30. And how does it do that? Of course, thickness. Thickness in the wall, thickness anywhere. It's all about thickness. It's physics and math. We have to get a certain part of the waveform and it takes a certain distance to do that. So the bottom line here is we must pressure balance the room. We can't have any hot spots. Well, what's the easiest way to pressure balance the room? Treat all four walls, floor and ceiling the cause of the problem. So that's what we do, all right? So we got to tune the room so it's pressure balanced every 14 and a half inches because in a wood frame stud, that's what the distance is between the studs, 14 and a half inches, 14 and a quarter. So we've got a great opportunity to go after this pressure problem every 14 and a half inches. That's why we can guarantee our room response. We can do it, whatever you you know, need to do. Obviously, you know, everything below 100 costs X amount of dollars. Everything above 100 cycles costs X amount of dollars. That's kind of the break point.
but we can do it for you. So no more hot spots, no more pressure issues in the room. And that's the key. And the CAW on new builds will do that for you. You don't have a new build situation. You have an existing room. We call it retrofitting. We have our freestanding units. They're all on wheels. They move easy. Basically, we're going to build a new room inside of the room. But we're not going to use hammer and nails. We're going to use panels. <clears throat> Excuse me. Feeling or hearing bass. Combination of both, but mostly feeling. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.